Uh, people from YouTube, this is uh, another video uh, regarding the Maxi Das 708. Um, this time we are working on a 2005 Audi A4 uh, 2.0 TDI. Uh, this is the S line. So the problem on this car has been resolved already. So I'm not going to go really over it. I'm just going to pretty much show you the functions and uh, what the machine can do on these uh, Audis. So there it goes, ready to go. So we'll press Audi. For you out there guys that are familiar with Vacom, I can tell you now you're going to be very, very comfortable. Uh, it's, it's very similar. Right, there is the VIN number. I know the VIN number is correct, so I'll press OK. Now, on here you have four options. You have Systems, Maintenance Function, Read, uh, Password and Models, uh, Guide Function. I'm going to tell you now, I'm not really sure about number four. I've never been there. Uh, I've never really explored that uh, number four. Uh, the other three, I'll start from the bottom. Number three, this is to read the uh, IMO pin code. I can't really do that on this car because this car is now on the fourth generation. So I'm not going to be able to read uh, the code. But second and third generation uh, is there, is the, the function is available and I can tell you it does work. Uh, I don't have a video for that but next time I come across I'll make one. Uh, maintenance function, we have oil service and electronic parking brake. Uh, oil service works perfectly. Uh, electronic parking brake, I never really had to use it, uh, so I can't say nothing on there. Now, under systems, you have five options here. You have a CAN quick scan, which basically what it does is, it scans the CAN gateway, which obviously it will contain uh, all the information about all the ECUs fitted on the car. So it's a really quick scan. Uh, it says that 2005 onwards, uh, it doesn't work on this car just yet. Uh, but uh, there's there's an option there for that. Then you have select, select system scan on here. Uh, you're gonna you 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 might be familiar with this, so you can scan individually the ECU you want. Obviously for this. You need to know if the ECU is fitted or not. Uh, but if it's not fitted, obviously, it will tell you no communication. Uh, all systems scan. Why does he is here? Uh, it will scan every single possible ECU. I'm not going to go through because it takes quite a long to do. So I'm not going to go there. Then you have control unit, uh, which comes with this uh, sub menus submenus uh, with six options. Uh, you probably are also familiar with this from Vacom. Uh, you have the common ones, exactly the same as Vacom actually. Uh, engine, auto transmission, ABS brakes, uh, auto, HVAC, central electronics, blah 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 and all that. Yeah? So you know this. Then you have drive train, which pretty much gives you the same options there but with a few extras. Uh, chassis, ABS brakes, Steering, anti-slip ring, lever control, channels. Uh, if you, if you, if you, if you have Vacom, you know all this already. So nothing new here. Help information, quite useful here. Uh, let's say, for example, repair information. You can have here instructions on how to do all this. Like, for example, it's been useful for me. For example, the other day, uh, sorry, on this car has been useful for me the what is that steering angle sensor zero position so I had to go across this today uh, on this particular car after the battery being disconnected and you have a few other instructions here channels information that pretty much tells you uh, adaptation information it tells you what the channels do so there we go each channel what the channel does yeah there we go. Uh, although, after you enter the channel, you can actually have... Uh, let's go back and I will go control units, common engine. Just to show you that, after you actually 
enter the channel will give you information about what that channel is but it doesn't tell you that before so on the ECUs and you will be also familiar with this you have all this, all this is the same as before, as, as back home. Read codes, uh, freeze frame, iris codes, ECU information, live data, advanced ID, active test, security login, uh, basic settings, coding, coding 2, and uh, readiness test. So I'll go up to read codes. Hopefully, there will be no codes on this ECU now. Yeah, all the problems are being solved, so it's okay. Um, freeze frame doesn't work on this car. Read codes, ECU information, that tells you all about the ECU. You should know all this as well. Uh, advanced ID it gives you a little bit more details about the, the ECU. So it tells you about the flash status, programming, uh, and all that. Active test. Uh, once again, you probably are familiar with this from Vacom as well. Just press start and it starts to go through various um, components. Uh, Throttle body, uh, EGR valve, and stuff like that. Let's go back. Security login. No, uh, self-explanatory. Uh, basic settings. Uh, uh, coding, coding to and readiness test. All these uh, you should know right where they are. Uh, let's go to live data just to show you the channels. Uh, what they do when they come up. What they show you. So under here you have. Uh, Advanced measured value, which basically comes up already with uh, some uh, defined channels. Um, there we go. You see, so you just select the one you want. Right. Okay. You press OK, and they will come up there. Right. They come like that as a text. You can also go as a graphic, you can go to graphics or one graphic only for graphics. You can merge the graphics. So let's say for instance you can have like for example the requested common rail pressure against the measured common rail pressure and you can actually see both lines if they follow. So um, you can see if the, 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 the injection pump is actually delivering the pressures that the ECU is requesting. So we can do things like this. You have an analog where you have these fancy dials. <laughs> Nothing really. Uh, let's go back. Now, read by channel. This is why I was saying it doesn't tell you what each channel does. Okay, But when you press OK, let's say channel 1. You see, injection quantity. So when you press the channel, it actually tells you what that channel is. But I won't tell you that before. So you tend to have to know what the channels um, are for, um, unless you go to the advanced uh, measure value. Uh, and this is pretty much the same for every single ECU. Uh, the functions, uh, all the menus, submenus, they are pretty much the same for all of them. Uh, let's try, for example, ABS brakes, just for you to have a look. So, you, as you can see, exactly the same thing. Uh, nothing really much different. Uh, you see information, I'll come up with you see information, uh, read codes, same, should be no codes exactly. <coughs> and that's it. Uh, any question guys, just, uh, just uh, uh, put them below. Uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, watch my other videos and wait for some more to come. Thank you guys.